like good friends should. Busy, such a lot to do. Building and fixing till it's good as new. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Can we build it? Dig it! Not a picture of you, Muck. It's a picture of me. No way. I saw it. It was me. Well, I'm looking at it right now, and it's a picture of me. Hello, you two. It's not. It's me. It's me. It's me. Whoa. What are you two arguing about? Scoop said there was a picture of him in the river, but it's a picture of me. No, it isn't. Why don't we get Bob to check? Okay. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's me, isn't it, Bob? Tell her, Bob, it's me. Well, actually, it isn't either of you. What? It's me. You? No way! <laughs> Why don't you both come and take a look at the same time? <gasps> now it's all three of us. Yes, it wasn't pictures you were seeing. It was reflections. Reflections? Looking into water is just like looking into a mirror, as long as it's still enough. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so when I was looking, it was my reflection. And when I was looking, it was my reflection. <laughs> sorry, Scoop. Yeah, sorry, Muck. Let's take another look. Oh! <laughs> now it isn't any of us. Not unless we've turned into an otter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, team, we're going to be building a house in a cave. In a wow. cave? Wow. 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 Where to put everything? Uh, who'd want to live there? You know Mr. Ellis at the Bobsville Museum? Well, it's for his friend, Mr. Beach. I got the idea from this picture, Dizzy. Bob and I have been up to the mountains already and found the perfect cave. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob. Mr. Ellis here. Young Mr. Beach is on his way over to you now. He's an expert on cavemen, you know, so he's awfully excited about having his own cave house. And I'm excited about building it. Goodbye, Bob. Bye. Hey there. Hello, all. Mr. Beach, meet the team. This is Wendy and Scoop, Muck, Dizzy, Rolly, and Lofty. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mr. Beach. Yes, and Scrambler you've already met. Yeah, Sandy's been telling me about the mountains. They sound like the wickedest place ever for off-roading. Sandy? <laughs> oh, it's sort of my nickname, you know, beach, sand. Sandy Beach! <laughs> I get it! <laughs> well, we better get started. I'll stay here and make the window frames and the door, but I'll see you all later. Let's head off. <laughs> But man, was it worth it! Can I go off-roading now? Can I? 
in a minute, Scrambler. Let me show Sandy his cave first. Looks wonderful, Bob. Ew, but it's all gray and gloomy. Couldn't you have some color somewhere? <laughs> well, this is how cavemen would have lived. Yeah, uh, but wouldn't you like one little thing to brighten <laughs> it up? Maybe all gray is kind of dull. A little color might be nice. Yeah, anyway, I'm going off rooting now, so see you later. Oh, wait, Scrambler. Um, you need to go and get something colorful from Wendy. What? You can go off roading when you get back. Yeah. Now, we'll lay the wooden floor first. We'll need to put down cross beams and then floorboards. That looks great, Bob. Okay, now for that wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, it's miles back from the mountains. Scrambler. Uh, why have you come back? I need something colorful for Sandy's cave. Oh, uh, colorful. Yeah, 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 anything. Oh, um, oh, I know. I've got just the thing packed away in the storeroom. Well, hurry up, Wendy. I'm running out of off-roading time. Huh. This rug used to be my auntie's. It's quite old, and it's got lots of colors on it. Aces! Scream to the mountains! Scoop and Muck, we'll need a trench along the front to make a foundation. No problem, Bob. Let's get muddy! Then we'll collect rocks and boulders. Lofty, you can help me with the big ones. Um, okay, Bob. Dizzy, can you mix some cement? Coming right up, Bob! Oh, this looks really exciting, Bob. It's so different. But it's still really gray inside. Uh, no problem. Uh, I've got it. <gasps> oh, it's brilliant. Uh, well, yeah, it's very nice. But? But I don't think it'll really work in a cave. Oh, man. Why not? I know it's old, but it's not quite old enough. I'm not going to have to go back and get something else, am I? I'm afraid so, Scrambler. Aww, all right. Scrambler, uh, I thought you were going off-roading. So did I, but Sandy said the rug isn't old enough. Oh, um, wait, I know. Oh, man, what is that? <laughs> It was my granddad's garden gnome. So it's even older than Auntie's rug. Awesome! Then we better take a look. But, but, oh man. Oh, oh look, cave paintings. So they're not monsters? No, Scram, they're, they're paintings made by cavemen, probably thousands of years ago. Um, why did they paint them? Well, the pictures are kind of the story of their life. It's like a thousand-year-old diary painted on the wall. Oh, brilliant! This is how cavemen decorated their caves. Oh, it's a shame I can't have something as beautiful on my walls. Now that would be perfect for a cave house. That means your cave house can be full of colors. Well, I better get going. We still have to finish your front wall. Pretty scary, too. You were very brave, Scrambler. 
so brave, I think you should spend the rest of the afternoon off-roading. Oh, yeah! That'll be great! But I have something to do first. Those cave paintings have given me an idea, and I'm gonna need Wendy's help. Oh, thanks, Travis. Bye! Yeah. Those cave paintings are the best I've ever seen. Perhaps we could turn that cave into, well, into a museum. People will come for miles to see the paintings. Hello, everybody. Uh, what's that, Wendy? <laughs> You'll see. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Something else colorful? Ta-da! What do you think, Mr. B? Now you have your very own cave paintings. Only these ones aren't scary. There's you and Bob, Muck. Oh, it's perfect. Just the right thing for a cave. Yes! Oh, what a day! I've got a new home, a team of new friends, and thanks to Scrambler, it looks as though I might be getting my very own museum. And who knows? Maybe in a thousand years, someone will discover these cave paintings. Team. I like it, Bob. Yes, but, um, what is it, Bob? It's called a bird blind, Lofty. You watch birds from inside it. But you can watch birds from out here. <laughs> yes, you can. But in there, you can hide from the birds. Oh, so that's what you do with it. But why do you want to hide from the birds, Bob? Well, if the birds don't see you, then they won't get scared and fly away. I think it's perfect, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. I just need to finish it off. It needs hiding or camouflaging with green paint and plants. Can we camouflage it? Yes, we can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, don't eat Bob's lunch, little bird. I'm planting these vines and bushes so that they grow up the bird blind. Is that the hide? I mean, camouflage the bird blind, Bob? It is, Muck. The vines will grow and cover the whole building. Oh, bird, stop, stop. And once the blind's camouflaged... It will look like it's part of the countryside. That's right, Muck. Oh, that's really naughty, little bird. Now, time for lunch. Oh, no! Who's been eating my sandwich? Aha! Was it you, little bird? <laughs> you should have camouflaged the sandwich, Bob! <laughs> You're right, Muck. Never mind. I have another half, and it's good to share. Mmm, yummy! Bologna and cheese. Rock and roll, Bob. But, uh, what is it? It's a worm farm, Rolly. I put shredded paper and a little soil in here, then some eggshells, fruit and vegetable scraps, and a little water. The worms like it if it's damp. It helps them work really hard and make lots of compost, which helps things grow. But where are the worms, Bob? Well, I haven't got any yet, Rolly. I'll get you loads, Bob. I'll dig them up with my spade. Oh, no, you mustn't do that, Spud. I want them to be charmed out of the ground. We're going to have a worm charming competition. Um, how do we charm them, Bob? If you can make the ground vibrate, the worms will think it's raining and pop their heads out. 
Worms like rain. That is why I have my garden fork with me, which I intend to climb. And I'll do some tap dancing on this board. And I can tippity-tap like raindrops falling on the ground. Mr. Sabatini's brought his violin. Yes, because of the music, she will charm the little worms from out of the ground. Is everybody ready? Oh, yes, on the job. Ready. On your mark, get set, go! We hear little worms, my rock and roll sound. Wiggle and roll, little worms. Oh, dear me, Bob. Can't you stop this terrible noise? But the worms love it, Mr. Bentley. Look. Rolly's singing is making the ground shake, and they think it's raining. My rock and roll sound. <laughs> I think Rolly's the winner of the worm charming competition. Rolly is jobber after worm. Rolly <laughs> just like Rolly. Now that he's started, he just can't stop. <laughs> Farmer Pickles? What's that feathery thing for, Bob? It's for spring cleaning. I've been busy all morning. Oh, yes. Very neat and tidy, Bob. Now, I was wondering if you'd lend a hand with the sunflower harvest. Lead the way! Shoo! 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 Oh, no. Is that a squawk? What are you doing in Sunflower Valley? Come to steal Farmer Pickle's sunflower seeds? Oh, no, you don't. <coughs> Scarecrow Spud is on the job. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> and you! Shoo! And you too! Oh, no! Look at all the crows! Oh, they smell my ripe sunflower seeds from miles off. They do anything to eat them. Not easy stopping them, is it, Spud? Oh, brother! We need to start the harvest. And soon. Yes! Let's harvest the sunflowers, and Squawk and his friends won't be able to gobble them then. Uh, come on, you lot. Spud's in charge. Hold on, Spud. First, Bob's got to build a silo. A silo? What's a silo? It's a special building for storing sunflowers when they've been harvested. A big shed, really. Can't start a harvest without one. Don't worry, Farmer Pickles. The building materials have already started arriving at the site. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Go away! Shoo! Shoo! Okay, team. You dig some foundations, please, Scoop. No prob, Bob. And Dizzy, can you mix up some cement? Coming right up, Bob! Yippee! Thanks, Travis and Lofty. This is going to be a really big silo. Spot the harvesters on the job. Need some help. Careful, Lofty. Easy does it. There. Well done. Oh, thanks, Bob. Now, what's next? Ah! But, but, but Farmer Pickle said you shouldn't start a harvest unless you've built a silo first. Oh, it won't take them long to build it. It's just a big shed. Ah! One field of sunflowers rescued by Spud the Harvester. Uh, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Oh, no! Shoo! Shoo! You see, you're supposed to build the silo first, because otherwise you don't have anywhere safe to put what you've harvested. Shoo! I knew that! Shoo! Shoo! Did you? Shoo! Of course! That's why we're taking these sunflowers to Farmer Pickle's silo right away! Shoo! It'll be finished now! Will it? Just like I planned. Let's load up! 
You know, Farmer Pickles, this silo is a lot more than just a big shed. Oh, you're not wrong there, Bob. Not many sheds have a cooling system. That's to keep the flowers at just the right temperature. Then there's the loading device. Mmm, so the flowers don't get damaged when we take them in and out. But we're not even ready for those things, are we, team? Roger that, Bob. First, we need to get the walls on. Here we go, Bob. You're doing a great job, Lofty. It's taking kind of longer than we thought. Good thing we didn't start the harvest, huh? Oh, I haven't finished. Ah! Quick, Travis, scram! There's even more birds now. That silo can't be the only safe place in Sunflower Valley. There's got to be somewhere else. Uh, aha! I'll store them in here. Won't Bob mind? He spent all morning spring cleaning. Stop worrying, Travis. Bob won't even know they're in there. Whew. Well done, Lofty. How's the cooling system coming on, Farmer Pickles? Oh. Temperature gauge could do the little fine tuning. I'll need my special mini screwdriver set for this. It's back in my trailer. Well, let's go and get it. We could have some coffee at the same time. Let's all take a break. We've been working very hard. Oh, oh you're right, Bob. Yeah. Oh, a nice break. The sunflowers are safe, thanks to Spud. Farmer Pickles will be pleased. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, no, Spud! Look, the birds! Oh, I'll chase them out! Oh. No! Let me in! Let me in! Mobile home is really a mess. And I only oh. cleaned up this morning. What's going on, Spud? I don't believe it. Well, I never. Spud? Bud. Sorry, Bob. Sorry, Farmer Pickles. I was trying to rescue the sunflowers from Squawk. Rescue them? You're feeding them to him and his friends. Oh, didn't I say, never start a harvest till you've got somewhere safe to put it. Which doesn't mean my mobile home. Oh, good thing I have a spare key. Whoa! You all right, Bob? They haven't all been damaged. Let's sort them out. Shoo, Squawk! Stop eating the seeds! Oh, it's too horrible to watch. That's why I started harvesting, Farmer Pickles. I'm sorry it all went wrong. Oh, Spud. Shoo! You must learn to listen to what people tell you. Go away. We've all got to... Shoo! Work together in Sunflower Valley. Work together? Hmm. Shoo, birdies! Shoo for me, too. And for me, boo! <laughs> That's what Sunflower Valley is all about, especially if I'm in charge. Let's go over to the silo team. Ready when you are, Bob. Bird scarers, follow me. There we go. Safely stored in the silo until the sunflower oil factory needs them. Temperature's just right. Oh, they'll be nice and cozy. It's almost as comfortable as their own mobile home. <laughs> Did you get that? The mobile home? Ha, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do see what you mean, Farmer Pickles. What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I think the silo's great, but I know someone who doesn't. Who's that? Squawk! <laughs> you can't win, Squawk. Not when Spud the Harvester's on the job.
It's a place where birds can come and get some food if they want to. Oh, how does it work? Well, the birds can land here. Oh, yeah. And I'll put bird seed there for them to eat. Oh, whoops. Oh, there's a hole in that ball, Bob. That means it's no good anymore, doesn't it? Well, this old bowl may not be able to hold seeds, but maybe we'll find another use for it later. Because what do we do, Lofty? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, Lofty. Can you hang the bird feeder on that branch, please? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, no, Shoo, Shoo, get away. That's not a squirrel feeder. Look, Bob, they're eating the bird seed. Hmm. We need to find a way to stop those naughty squirrels from getting the seed. Aha. Uh -huh. Lofty, I've got an idea. Now, this old bowl should stop the squirrels from taking the bird's food. Oh, uh, how? You'll see. It worked, Bob! It worked! And the squirrels are eating the nuts, which are really better for them. And we reuse that broken bowl. That's recycling, isn't it, Bob? It is, Lofty. Now, let's sit quietly and see what happens. Oh, they're really, really pretty, aren't they, Bob? Yes, they are, Lofty. Really, really pretty. Ha <laughs> ha!